following master's unfortunate death, Mistress and I went to Madrid to enlighten her nephew of master's untimely death. During our adventures, we met with some gypsies in a small village who provided us with a place to sleep and some warm food like beetroot soup, rabbit stew, bread, and even pumpkin pies. After Mistress and I left the small place the gypsies left for us, we found another small town in which there lived a baker. After Mistress and I dealt with the baker, he was so kind, but we realized he needed extra help. So, Mistress offered my services. We'll see went to continue our journey finding her nephew. And I accepted to help him. During my time with the baker, he let me sleep in the firelit, hayful shack in the back of his bakery. This luxury in trade for lugging bags of flour from the shack into his bakery so he could bake his famous cakes. This small labor and few others, both in trade for shelter and food, helped keep me alive until the baker told me he was no longer in need of help. And so this started my next expedition in hopes to find my next mistress or master. And a big thanks to Victor Espinosa, Atticus White, and Austin Scott for helping create a large bag of flour with Avery and I over the course of two hours. And now here's a blooper, though there were hundreds. During our adventures, we met with some gypsies in a small village, and they provided us with a place to s Really? Why? Why do villagers have to be in-